What's up guys, I'm going to be reviewing a few different things tonight. Uh, the IPv2, this new RDA that I got, which I don't really know the name of, but I got it at the shop, and this vaping LED. Alright guys, pretty much the same spot I'm always at, just a different camera angle, and we got new stuff to review today. So, uh, what we have here is the IPv2. I bought it uh, used uh, from some guy at a shop, and it's been running really good, 50 watt mod. Uh, I only paid $60 for it, it was a great investment. Some cool things about it, uh, it has a touch sensor at the top, and these two buttons, they control the wattage. And it also has a lock. Uh, I'm not pretty. I'm not sure how to use it just yet, but you can turn the touch on and off. And I don't know uh, a few of the functions that it has. I just use it, you know, on wattage mode and turn it on and off, and that's about it. But um, today we're going to be reviewing this juice, which is Serial Killer from South Nine Vapes. And this juice I've already reviewed, but I'm going to vape it anyways because it's awesome. High voltage diode, which is a peaches and cream. Serial Killer, or Serial Killa, has changed its flavor a lot uh, during its operation of business. And they started adding a little bit more cream to it, uh, making the cereal kind of like fade away in the flavor. But I really still think it is a good vaping flavor. I could vape this stuff every day. It's so good. Uh, a lot of the shops just sell this because it's so popular nowadays. Def <laughs> Definitely a fruity Fruit Loops kind of thing going on here. Uh, really creamy though. It, it definitely just tastes like cereal. This RDA is so awesome because I love how the LED shines right through it and I mean this LED is bright. Um, I can barely look at it while I'm vaping. I have to either look away from it or even close my eyes because it is so bright that it'll actually like temporarily blind you. It is just intense. Now what I got going on here is a single coil uh, on one side and then on the other side of the RDA is my LED light um, which has been going pretty strong I just bought it today but I, I love this thing it looks really awesome when it when it vapes up that's about dry um that's one thing about single coils is that they dry out really fast and you can't really put a lot of cotton in them either. The good thing about it is you only need about this much in the dripper to fill it up. Literally like a sixth of the dripper. So we're going to get a little caffeine going here with this high voltage. This, this is in uh, 3 milligrams and the serial killer is uh, only in 4. That's all they sell it is in 4 milligrams. I can't get enough of either of these flavors at all. Um, the peaches and cream has always been my favorite. Mad Alchemist has one and uh, so does Space Jam. Uh, the Omega by Space Jam is really, really good. That's the that's like my all-time favorite peaches and cream flavor. But this high voltage is next and then the Mad Alchemist. All in all, these vaping LEDs are vape safe completely. Uh, you just don't want to go to Radio Shack and buy yourself an LED and put it in there because if you do, uh, it may not be like compatible with all those watts and you'll probably end up blowing the LED out, shattering it, and sucking that stuff through your lungs. So definitely don't want to do that, but these vaping LEDs are completely safe and uh, my local shop sells them. So. I bought two of them hoping that one of them was green, which it was, and then the other one was blue, which also looks really, really sweet. Green LED for green juice. Super, super bright though. These things will light up this entire room when it's dark. 
Um, it is awesome. It's definitely a cool thing to have uh, for all your vaping needs. Now IPV's latest model is the IPV3 and that one goes up to 150 watts. This is only 50, uh, this is one third of the IPv3. But anyway, I'm actually really liking this IPv2. 50 watts is good enough for me, even though I am probably gonna invest in the IPv3 soon enough, or I am gonna get the Sigali 150 watt mod. So far, um, all I've invested in was uh, is single 18 to 650 mods. I just gave my AR mod away to my one of my good friends, so she's really really liking it, and she it definitely replaced that Vamo that I did a review on not too long ago. Vapors be like, I need more cloud. Anyway, I'm always maxing this thing out, 50 watts all the time, and um. It, it says it'll go up to like 8.5 volts, but not out of a single 18650 battery because they only go to 4.2 volts. But it will go up that high as it says, and your battery life won't last a long time if your voltage is that high, which it won't be unless you build a sub-ohm coil. If you build sub-ohm coils, maybe around 0 0.5, 0 0.6, uh, it'll only be like 5.5 volts, which it's at 5.4. If you get into like the 0.8 builds and the 1 ohm builds, uh, you're going to bring that voltage up a lot higher. I've been practicing a lot of tricks like smoke rings too and vape tornadoes. Uh, I'm getting there on the ring still. It's still taking me a lot of practice. I've been chucking them pretty nice lately, but not at the moment. Let's give this one more drip and then we'll wrap up this review here. Uh, but anyway, this stuff, I definitely recommend it. Everyday uh, vape for me, the serial killer. It's just so good. I, get, I can't get enough of it. And my second favorite flavor is probably Cutwood Sugar Bear, which is like a sugar cookie. It's really, really, really sweet and one of my favorite vapes. But uh, this, this is definitely up there. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and feel free to share my channel or comment or even message me about anything that you have a question on. Peace out, vapors.